One of the problems with presenting data in this simple format with either a table or a chart is that if the data is referring to the number of people it may be less meaningful to somebody looking at it than if it were described in terms of percentages. For example, to say 30 people is meaningless unless we know how many it's out of. So we're going to produce a, a total calculation here and the total for that we can just use a simple auto sum button click on the button make sure that it's selected the numbers we want to add up and press enter so the number of people is 136 to say 30 people out of 136 is difficult to picture it would be much easier to say what percentage that represents because we know percentages are out of a hundred and they're easier for us to picture. So I'm just going to tidy this up, put some borders on this and then I'm going to calculate percentage of customers. So I just make that column slightly wider some boxes in here and do my calculation. The calculation for percentage or percentage share is the value divided by the total. So if I want to see what percentage 30 is out of 136 the value is 30 and the total is 136. So let's do this calculation. Equals tells the computer to do a calculation the number of people divided by the total number of people. So number of people the divide sign on the computer, the total, and I can press enter. And then if I go back to it, I can convert that into a percentage. Once I've calculated that, I can move on to the next one. Equals the value divided by the total enter, go back onto it and turn it into a percentage. In fact if I turn them all into percentages I won't even need to click that part. So equals the value divided by the total, enter. And I could go on using that formula but there's a way that I could do it more quickly using something called absolute referencing. To do that I use exactly the same formula equals the value divided by the total but this time we're going to fix the total by using the F4 key. So if I click inside the middle of the value for total cell N14 and press F4, it will put dollar signs around the N and around the 14. And that's saying that when you copy this formula, do not move out of the N column for the total calculation or out of the 14 row for that calculation. So it will give me the same answer as before but this time I can actually use the copy function to copy it down. So once I've selected the formula with the thick white cross, I can move on to the little corner area, the little handle, and get a thin black cross, and I can drag that all the way down, 
and if I've done this calculation correctly, if I add it up, it will come to 100. So I have done. So there we have the percentage of customers. And now it makes more sense to say 22% of the customers took between 46 and 60 minutes, much clearer to understand than to say 30 out of 106. So percentages are very useful when you want to describe your data.